this is the bold and the beautiful review. Okay. So, Steffi is in her feelings. Okay, she's not thinking about the company. She's not thinking about Rick uh, destroying everything. She is thinking about Liam and her relationship, what they once had. And, um... I just... To me, it's like... I, 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 I'm disappointed here because I feel like talk about the business get your smart back Steffi get your smart back because you're talking about the past and your feelings I still love you I still love you did you hear me hello I still love you no okay I need you to focus I need you to ask the right questions I need you to think about the business so here's some questions that she needed to ask but that she never asked for some reason who is she selling her shares to Bill Spencer or Liam Spencer or is it Spencer publications which could which actually means Bill Spencer um what is the plan here it's great y'all they're they, they telling her about the oh you know what sell your shares and then you're gonna be CEO okay thank you for telling me but you're giving me the end game you're not giving me the middle I need details okay what is the plan details but nothing is being given here nothing you got squat zero um and I'm just wondering why can't she, why she did not ask about um Bill or Liam selling their shares to her here's the thing she could keep her shares ask Thomas to give her I don't know legal power um over her um his shares when he's gone I don't know like something like that I'm pretty sure that can be done or um yeah Thomas giving her um some legal power over his shares and using his uh, his shares for him like she could do that I mean like why is she not thinking here I don't believe the habit to oh, aha this is I thought about it what can't you think about it Steffi what's going on what are you talking about mom I love you and <laughs> I used to be the one. Hope used to be the one too. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. And now Javi is the one. For now. <laughs> and um, I get that she loves him. But she's acting as if this everything cannot happened yesterday like she it's fresh the thing everything is fresh but it's not fresh you've been away you've had time to reflect to think about your life the future what you want and what you don't want okay why are you acting as if you've been around around um ivy and liam for months okay for every day you've been around them and you can't stand it and I'm th th this is so funny to me because she's preaching to her dad think about me think about Rick's marriage think about the company you you're not doing it dad you're thinking about yourself and you don't care about your daughter me but she's doing what Rich is doing following her her heart and um taking care of her love life her feelings instead of company instead of business instead of family because I'm sorry okay Steffi your 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 ex is with your cousin this is family okay and Ivy is gonna be in pain if you're trying to steal Liam from her is that what you want to do and you are talking to Liam about you know what you don't want to sell your family you're not gonna sell out your family so he can be a hero to his girlfriend but if you guys were together then you know you think about it 
you'd run farce or creations with him. But but what's going on? Are you trying to blackmail him? Emotionally blackmail him? Are you what 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 do you want him to do? Break up with Ivy and get with you? I guess Liam should do a, Sp a Bill Spencer on uh, uh, on Steffi and um leave Ivy, fake leaving Ivy, get with um Steffi, get get those shares and then go back to Ivy. <laughs> but what, what what Steffi, what do you want? What do you want him to do? He's in a relationship right now. Do you really want to go back to a love triangle when you're in pain, you're crying and crying and crying? And then he's like torn between two women and he's in pain too and he's telling you one thing but he's telling her another thing and he's telling you that he loves you but he's telling her that he loves him too and he loves him too. He loves her too and it's, it's a whole... It's a mess? Like, what is it that you want? What is it that you're looking for? Nothing can be done here. Think about business. Think about work. Stop with the going down to memory lane and the past and your dreams. And focus on the business. Okay? Thank you. Then we get to Oliver, Allie, and Ivy. <sighs> um, Allie and Oliver, they're really cute together. They are so in love. And Oliver is really being supportive of Ivy. Ivy. Allie, sorry. Allie saw, uh, saw Ivy coming in. And she was like... Don't go upstairs. Not a good idea. I'm sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. So Ivy was suing. I don't know if it was a blouse, a dress, whatever it was. Um, <sighs> she's doing it for Maya, and for it, I'm just like, wait, wait, Ivy, are you a maid? And I didn't know. Cause seriously, she should have never done this. She should have no favor. Sorry, no favors. You gonna pay me. We are not family, Rick. You gonna pay me. If you're treating me like shit, I'm sorry you gonna give me some cash. I ain't doing nothing free here. I'm not doing anything from the goodness of my heart. Especially when you're talking to me like I'm crap. Like I'm a dog. No. Do, do, do. It's not gonna happen. So um yeah, so Ivy's doing this for Rick and it's really stupid. Then we get to Maya and Rick. They are upstairs and laughing. <laughs> We're a king and queen. We're a king and queen. King and queen. <laughs> so Maya is telling Rick, I don't understand. How come? Ivy and Allie are still here. Hmm. Let me think, Maya. Allie Forrester, Ivy Forrester, living in Eric Forrester's house. I guess it makes sense. And you, you are Maya Avant. What are you doing here? That's not your house. Like, she should just her sometimes I just need her to shush shush stop talking um then you we Eric calls okay and he's asking about the gun I heard you had a gun and what's going on here do I need to come back and of course Rick is telling him don't come back dad Everything is okay. Everything is under control. While well, he's looking at Maya and be like, <laughs> Eric, you need to come home quick. You need to watch over your company and your house, your property. Come back home. And okay, it's good. You're talking to Rick from time to time. That's great. How about you talk to your niece, to your granddaughter? To your sister-in-law. Okay, talk to Pam. 
Uh, hurry up. Ask them what's going on. How about you call Rich? Okay. Like, I, I, there's something about him. Like, he's just careless. That's your company. That's your legacy. Do something here. Um, then Rick does this thing. Vibe. He calls Allie. And he says, uh, girl, I need some ice cream. And Allie is just like, okay, I'm going to bring him his high cream and I'm going to get my designs to it. Maybe he's going to look at them. <sighs> Allie, what you needed to do was get evil and spit. <laughs> spit. Because I would have been like, that douchebag is going to eat my spit. And then I'm going to tell, tell him I quit. Because I'm done with his behind I'm done with the bull I am done so that's what he need she needed to do okay she needed to do like Wyatt what what I was like I, 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 no okay I, 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 I ain't dealing with that piece of shit okay I quit that's what Wyatt did and I was like proud of him okay in that day okay he stayed he was not even there for a full day and he was like uh -uh, I ain't doing it <laughs> he doesn't pay me enough for that bye and uh, seriously I, I, I don't know how she did it I don't know how she did it <laughs> nope then we get to um Caroline and Rich and their paint sex mmm that was fabulous. That was good. I was looking at this and I was just like, girl, you look amazing. Bridge. I, wow. Those two. I mean, I don't know how old he is. But uh, that, that looked amazing. That sex scene was just it for me. Um, but I think the most important. I was not going to talk about that scene. But what made me feel like I need to talk about that scene was the ring. Caroline took the ring off and what I like about this thing is Caroline is really moving on unlike Rick. Rick is fake moving on and it's gonna be painful for him because Caroline is just living her life and not thinking about him no more. <laughs> Rich you ain't a priority. She ain't begging you for nothing. <laughs> She's with Rich. So, um, I guess that was my review, okay? So, rate, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> Goodbye.